Yeah, so it turns out I had a couple leaks on the left hand saw head tilt motor. And it seemed like I had a shaft seal leak, so I got that. I was able to get the machine in the shop, did a service, and got that knocked out at the same time. But then I still had a little bit of moisture showing up, and so it turned out it was the uh, it was the port cavity seal on the top of the motor itself. So uh, yeah, I finished the unit up. And I had a day before the low boy could get to me, so I did it in the field here. So, so I wanted to talk about doing it, and uh, in particular about using the, an air vac, which is something I put together. It's pretty simple, and uh, it's a really great tool. Um, here, I'm, I'm starting to use it. This is an air vac, and I actually built this myself um, after watching this video. And this is the Kaizen foam, and that's what I'm going to do in my other boxes. So, air, air vac makes these, and um, it's basically a Venturi. I put a little regulator on it. Um, this is the vent, uh, this is the inlet, and this is the uh, connection to your. Um, to your tank so you can throw a vacuum on a tank in case you've got to pull a big valve or multiple hoses or whatnot. I've had these in the past <coughs> um, running off the vacuum in a truck uh, but you can pull oil um, it, depending on where you the location and how much uh, you know oil you know how big a hole you've opened up in the system so um, I think this is going to work really well uh, this is a um, is a vacuum gauge and it's set up um, to adapt into uh, the top of the hydraulic tank on the Tiger Cat. Um, so, anyhow, um, again, that uh, off road wrench, um, he has this list of uh, um, five tools that you know you should have, and uh, this was one of them. And um, so yeah, I, I, I put it together and I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Um, so thanks again to him. You, you guys should check out his channel. He's got some good tips. Yeah, so I pulled that uh, the vent off and uh, put a little Teflon tape onto the tank adapter here. Screwed that down into that port. Snug it up a little bit. It's funny, this was a kind of a cold day. It was right around 30 degrees or so, and uh, my hands were cold. I had a heck of a time making the quick couples come together on it, as you'll see. But, you know, this is a great tool, and, you know, I mean, with the price of hydraulic oil being about, it's like 80 bucks, a five-gallon bucket, and, uh, you know, I have under $100 into this setup, and, it's just well worth it. It works amazing. I mean, it really, it, you know, you need air, but if you got air, you're good to go. And for changing a big line, even, it's quick to do, and it just save you oil, save you making a mess. And it's a good tool. I recommend it. So I got the regulator turned down to 30, and it's showing 10 pounds or 10 inches of vacuum on the tank. Yeah, so here I'm pulling the top plate, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple uh, process now. Um, yeah, I want to put a shout out to uh, the service managers across the country, and Ben Dennison in particular, um, up there at Triad Portland, you know, he's just a tremendous resource to me, and he's always got time to answer my dumb questions, and uh, I'm a firm believer in asking dumb questions. I'd uh, rather ask a dumb question than tear something up by going ahead on her. Yeah, so you'll see when I uh, 
I get the uh, bolts out that this vacuum, you know, that's on the system right now is actually holding that plate. There's a little bit of a suction on that plate itself, and uh, it just points out, you know, what a good job this does. You know, and oftentimes on a project like this, you know, removing your hydraulic lines to cap them and plug them can be, you know, the worst part of the project. You know, these number 12s there, they're ORS hard lines into 90s and uh, it's a difficult fitting. It's okay if you're going to pull a motor, but to just do it in place is pretty difficult. Yeah, so right there you can see that suction. And absolutely, without pulling those lines, you would be blowing out serious fluid. You know, the pressure from the fluid in the lines up the stick. The gushing oil out, your distributor down in that motor. I think it has six springs in it. They'd be blown out too. So it's just a nice, clean setup. Yeah, another thing I just have to say again, you know, how impressed I am with Tiger Cat Engineering. You know, at, uh, the shaft seal on the bottom of the motor, the output shaft seal. You know, I mean, you did have to pull the motor, but it was well set up, you know, I mean, it came out easily. And then the actual seal itself, there's a seal plate retainer, you know, you just pull, I think it was eight, eight bolts and it came out. You had a seal and a backup ring, you know, and then an O-ring seal for the plate itself. Very well thought out, easy to replace. And, uh, you know, this is a Poclain motor, you know, but it's a Tiger Cat gearbox down below. This is well thought out too, you know, easy to get at, easy to replace, relatively low cost too. Although you, although you did have to buy a complete seal kit to do it. Yeah, so as I think I said, I, you know, today I, I'd finished the unit up the day, the night before, and I uh, had a little time I wanted to get to this. It wasn't leaking bad, it was weeping. It wouldn't leak under pressure because the pressure of the system compressed the O-ring, but then under, you know, no load when the machine was shut off, it would weep, but just enough to get it wet. You can see it down by the can of brake clean there. It's kind of, you know, oil wet. Those kind of leaks drive me crazy, man. I just, I just won't have it. So, it's glad to have a little time to get it, take care of it, keep it dusty. So, on this, the uh, the lifting bracket, those two bolts there are uh, 10.9 grade, and then they're 10 millimeters, and the other six are 8.8 grade. So they had different torque values. Then suggested just be on the safe side of taking down stages. So that's what I did. What I'm doing right now is uh, lubing them up. I've used this Luber plate assembly grease for years. It used to come in that uh, really cool black and silver can, tin can, you know. But it's in a tube now, but it's still the same grease. It's good stuff for an application like this. So I think I took them down to like, you know, I, I snugged them in by hand and then uh, took them to 22 and then second stage I took them down to their final torque value. That's another thing that's a really, you know, I mean I use a lot, I've got a lot of torque wrenches, I use them, they, it just makes bolts stay tight, you know, and you don't have to worry about breaking them. And, uh, yeah, it's just a it's a useful tool. Those torque tables are there for a reason, and uh, really saves saves a lot of aggravation if if I found that if I use it. Yeah. So another thing about the Tiger Cat that's really important is that uh, it's a closed loop hydraulic system, and that's why it delivers such outstanding performance. But as I understand it, you know, the, the you know, basically in a closed loop system, your oil is flowing from your pump to your function, in this case the motor, and then that 
that oil returns not to back the tank, but back to the pump. Uh, I'm not positive I'm correct on that, but that's how I understand it. But nevertheless, the long and the short of it is that you absolutely do not want to have any air in the system. And uh, so you're not going to see it because I ran out of card on my GoPro, but uh, when I'm done with this, um, I'll disconnect the air back and then pressurize the hydraulic tank to two and a half pounds. And then on this motor, I'll crack that test port. It's right there in between the two ports. And then on the other two motors on the right hand side, I'll crack the uh, case drains on those and bleed out the pressure in the tank will bleed out any air in the system and then you're good to go. Well worth the troubles, you know, on this repair, somewhat major, but even a hydraulic line, it's, uh, it's just important. I mean, uh, you know, any kind of pump trouble on this machine is, we're not talking about pocket change, so. Yeah, so, uh, just putting that final uh, torque on them, and it'll be done, so. So once again, appreciate you watching. Any questions or comments or questions about the air vac, uh, don't hesitate to shoot me a note. I'd be happy to help you put one together. Uh, it's a hell of a tool, and I highly recommend that you get a hold of one and uh, use it because it's uh, it's really useful, time saver, makes the job real easy. So. Thanks for watching.